Just bear with me a second, trying to get things set up here. Hmm. Giving me grief today. Just bear with me one sec. There we go. All right. Just about ready here. All right. We are good to go, my friends. Hello, 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 and welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short Lunch Break with Shell video tutorials Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time. I also do Facebook Live videos on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Today we are going to be having a play with um, some guy stamps. We're going to be making a birthday card for a guy. And I have chosen to use the He's All That bundle, the Wildlife Wonder, and I'm bringing in the stitched rectangle dies. All right, my ink colors for today are Memento Tuxedo Black and Gray Granite. And my card stock colors are basic white, crumb cake, and basic black. All right, so let's get started. First things first, I need my silicone mat. And I have pre-cut some rectangles with the stitched rectangles dies. And you can see here that I took um, just one piece of basic black and one piece, like a quarter sheet. I'm going to bring these, all these pieces in so I can show you what I did. Um, this was my off cut. This is, the, what I, this is what I threw out, okay? That was left of a quarter sheet. This was my off cut of that, and this was my off cut of that. I saved those. And then instead of using another piece, I cut these pieces out of the center so that I'm not wasting any um, cardstock. So I am just going to Take some adhesive and run that around the outside of this frame, like so. And then I'm going to center that up on the black one, just like that. The next one is going to be this basic black. Doing the same thing, just going around the outside. And we'll pop that in place. And finally, the crumb cake one and we will pop that in place all right very good now we're going to take that out of the way we're going to bring in our standard card base 11 by four and a quarter and we are going to glued this down on our card front. 
so far it's pretty easy peasy. But look at that pop. Isn't that cool? Oh, I just did something I didn't want to do. I wonder if I can lift this one up. Let me see. Let me see. I got ahead of myself. If I'm lucky, I will be able to lift this one up. There we go. All right, crisis averted. <laughs> I'm just going to set that one aside for a minute. Now we're going to work on this part of our card. I just didn't want to throw out these pieces, so we are going to put them on the inside to make our greeting area pop. What do you think of that? Why throw it out when you don't have to? So, same scenario as before. A little bead of adhesive all the way around. And we will pop it in place. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. And the same thing with this one. And the way these ones are cut out, these ones don't overlap. These ones are going to nest. So one is got, oops, well, sir, sticking to me good today. Good thing it dries clear, that Tombow. There we go. Now we have a little focal place to write our greeting on the inside of the card. All right, now we're going to put this together. We are going to flip open our front, and this is just a little bit smaller. So this is going to go in the inside. So it's going to be a fun focal old as well. And we'll just center this in the middle of this inside panel. All right. So this is how our card is going to fold. Now, I'm going to bring this back in. And, oh, we're going to do some stamping first. I am going to bring this in. And we are going to stamp the wolf image in gray granite. And I, ch I know the cardstock is crumb cake, but I chose gray granite because it's lighter and you'll see why I want it to be lighter here in a second. Um, let's pick this up. Ink up our stamp. Give it a press. And I'm going to do that one more time. So I've got a good image there. Now, it's not, if I had done that with crumb cake, it would be really dark, and I don't want it to be really dark. Let's just switch this plate, and we will bring in the greeting. I'm going to put the greeting right over part of my wolf. So that is why I don't want it to be too dark. My wolf is kind of, he is a focal image, but he's in the background of the greeting. Okay, see how I'm going with this? And 
and that's what I've done with that. I'm just waiting for my camera to catch up with me. There's a delay. I want to make sure that you guys can see that. Yeah, you're seeing that real good. Okay, and now by the magic of Facebook and YouTube, <laughs> this is what is coming out. I took the die from the um, He's All That bundle. I took this die and cut this out. So we have a great greeting. And then I took and I measured this and then I cut a rectangle with my paper trimmer and just rounded the edges so that I have a somewhat coordinating mat. Okay, so we're just going to pop those two pieces together so it's one unit. And center that up as best we can. There we go. All right, now we're going to bring this guy back in. This guy is going to be mounted here, but I'm taking part in a blog hop today and we, our challenge was ribbon techniques. Well, I wanted to be different. So I took a little bit of li liberty and uh, instead of ribbon, I used Baker's twine. And what I did is I just braided the baker's twine. I hope the camera's picking that up. We'll wait again for it to catch up a little bit here. And yes, it is. That's great. All right. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to wrap this around this panel before I put it on the card front. So, I wonder what a knot would look like. As you can tell, I braided a ton of this. No, I don't think I want a knot. It's just going to be too, too bulky. So I'm just going to take this and measure it up. This end has already got a knot in it. So I'm going to grab my scissors and kind of put a knot here. I think, making sure I have enough to go across the front here. Yep. And I'm going to make that knot as small as I can because that's going to add some bulk to the back of this card. All right, so this is going to go across here. So let's eyeball this up now. Pull this around behind. And I think I'm going to grab some tape. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do this. Just add some tape. I just made that long enough. Wrap that around as flat as we can and as straight as we can. And we will add another piece of tape. There. Now, I think that I'm going to have to use dimensionals for this because there's no way that I can get that on that card now flat. Right? So I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. This first panel is going to be raised up so that that knot is got some room.
There we go. Now let's get all those little paper backings off. And we will put this back on our card front. There we go. Perfect. Now this, I am also going to pop that up on dimensionals. But I'm going to go in from the corners on both sides. Kind of doing this one stamping on the by the seat of my pants here. I really, oops, I really hadn't planned this all out. As you can tell, that's not abnormal for me. I'm just gonna center that up like that. Now I am going to. We need to do something on here. Probably should have done that before I put it put the card together, huh? Um, how about we stamp this big guy? And we will put sending birthday wishes. Just like so. Let's get that Stamparatus back here. And I'm going to turn it around. And move this. And we will bring this in like so. Need my magnet. Got my bear. Sending birthday wishes. And I think I'm going to do this in black ink. Well, that didn't work so well. Let's try this again. Hopefully that's straight. Looks pretty straight to me. Let's pull this off and have a look. Not quite actually. There we go. Now we will ink this up and give it a stamp. I haven't used this stamp set in a while. And it is a perfect stamp set for a guy. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm not I'm just gonna take this one off because I don't want to mess that up. I'm gonna stamp the bear one more time. Oh, check that out. Beautiful. All right. Let me get this off. Get all our pieces here. And I will show you what we've got. Actually, I'm going to let that dry a bit. I'm going to find in my box of tricks. Somewhere I have some matte black dots. And we are going to use three big ones. What did I do with my paper piercer? And I'm just going to put 
I'm just eyeballing this. So hopefully it's going to be straight. One, two, three. Just to zazz, zazz you up that front a little bit. So here's our card to a great guy sending birthday wishes. And then we have a great place to write our greeting. Pretty cool, eh? So that is our card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will be back again Tuesday and Thursday at noon Central Standard Time and Wednesday nights at 6.30. I hope you can join me again. Bye-bye for now.